Hello everyone. How are you? I'm doing this outside. The building we live in is like right there. So you might hear the gates opening, but you know what? This is such a beautiful spot. And I'm going to explain to you why I need to do this here. Welcome. Sorry I'm late. I'm always saying sorry I'm late. I'm Canadian. I always say sorry. <laughs> but uh, it's been a really rough um, two weeks of September, I'm going to say. And uh, so I've been watching videos, I've been visiting some of you, but I haven't been working on a video for myself because I, you know what? I just get so stumped on what you guys want to hear from me or what I should say or shouldn't say or what the discussions are because my niche is aging <laughs> and I'm actually getting there. But um, a lot of you are going to know uh, this YouTuber this lady uh, her name is Sandra Hart and uh, I uh, subscribe to her channel and I really enjoy her channel because of course we all like to have somebody we can look up to or listen to that you go oh yeah I can so relate to that in so many ways and um, Sandra I think is 82 now so um, she's already got that next decade to look forward to and uh, I'm just starting mine in the 70s and her last video really, really just kind of went duh, -ha. you know, that aha moment that we can get. And uh, I thought, oh, you know what? I really need to talk about that because it's, this is what's happened to me and I had to slow down. And she talks about slowing down and what the, re some of the things that happened because maybe um, it's, she needs to slow down for, for herself. And we talk about this often, self-love and all of those things but we don't really realize the impact of not doing it on, until we're in it so I want to dis discuss that with you guys a little bit what's happened to me this month that's it's been a really really tough um, two weeks and I thought well you know what I'm not gonna mention names some situations I can others I can't but I do want to share this with you because I'm going you know what it's that old thing is that when when Sandra mentioned it I went yes that's exactly what I experience and sometimes there's safety in numbers right that you gives you a little bit of comfort you go I'm not the only person that's going through is I'm not going wacky all by myself or I'm not feeling this pain all by myself and so I thought it was important to have that discussion with you guys so I do apologize for the traffic but anyway this is the golf course behind me Bill's out there if you see <laughs> I don't know he doesn't know I'm coming out out here today but <laughs> anyway if you see somebody waving behind me it might be Bill but you know what? September the 22nd is the last day of summer. I don't want summer to end. I, um, I really, I know a lot of you've got up all your Halloween decorations and you're just moving forward and you, you're on top of things. And this year I decided that I wasn't going to do that. This year I decided I'm going to enjoy, oops, that somebody's brakes on their car. <laughs> it's a Cadillac, get it fixed. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness, oh my goodness. I hope there's no car accident here. I have nowhere to go <laughs> and I can't get up that fast. So what did happen this month? I'm okay now, but I had to process a lot of it. Well, on September the 10th, 1994, my dad passed away. And that was a, losing him was like, almost it was like losing the only family member that I felt I had. And um, I gotta stop saying, um, anyway, that's going to be in my book because I am writing a book about it. So one of these days you'll read about it in my book. So it was, uh, it was really tough, really tough for me. So of course, so that started my month off well, with that reminder. And then we had somebody that uh, Bill and I love very much. Uh, somebody I'm very close to, somebody who's always supported me, um, especially, you know, Bill and I are in a second marriage, and uh, um, this is somebody that really supported us and, and has loved us through our journey. She got some really, really bad news. Um, so now we got some more clarity on it, and we're going to totally handle this, and everything's going to be well. 
uh, we know this and we've decided so. So that's really good. I've written some of these things down. And then of course there's the anxiety of, you know, the grandchildren are going back to school. I've got three grandchildren um, that are younger and so I worry about them for um, obvious reasons or not so obvious, but anyway, we're not going to go there. And uh, my grandsons are in high school and everything's turned out fine. I worried about a lot of things I didn't need to worry about, but that's what we tend to do. And I don't think you have to be grandma or oma, as my kids call me, uh, to be uh, the person that worries. But the one thing that, that Sandra had touched on that really I really, really, really related to was our adult children. And it was too funny because I watched Sandra's video and then two days later, so that was yesterday, I guess, my one of my daughters called me and we were talking and she was feeling really, really sad because one of her friends, two of her friends actually, one's mom passed away. She was like young, 61, and just retired. Or was she 65? Anyway, they're both under 65. And the other gal's got her mom all of a sudden has all these health problems and issues. And so I went, oh my gosh, right? That's so sad. And then she said to me, Mom, I just want you to stop worrying about everything. I just, I don't want you to worry about us. And it was really weird. I'd never had that conversation with her. And so we got into a conversation about it. And it was really interesting because I have a good relationship with all three of my children. So with my son, because he's married and he has a wife, of course, yeah, if I say he's married, of course he's married. <laughs> and, um, you know, he never really, you know, like, he loves me to death and, and he, you know, he, he's an awesome son, but sons don't tend to share as much personal stuff or information. So with him, if I see something, I worry about the things he doesn't tell me. Okay, so really, I saw what I decided that maybe something isn't right or something's off. So I'm gonna have a whole bunch of sleepless nights worrying about it until I calm myself down. Now with the girls, it's a little different. We talk about, you know, girl stuff a lot more and um, they share a lot more with me. And it's not always bad stuff. I mean, a lot of it's good stuff, but I'm a friend to them. And, a lot of ways like my role as mom has changed in lots of ways but not when it comes to worrying and um, so today actually I said to her, I'm gonna do a video about it. I'm gonna talk about it a little bit because I'm sure a lot of women feel this way as well that we tend to worry about our adult, adult children and their partners and their families a whole lot more than we probably need to and it's just something that we take on ourselves this is what we have to recognize None of my children have ever said, okay, mom, now that I've given you this information, I want you to worry about it and have a whole bunch of sleepless nights because you know what? I can't handle it. It's too stressful for me. So I've recognized that. I recognize it because Sandra recognized it. So now I recognize it in myself. And so, um, yeah, I just need to put my ducks in a row and realize that I have raised three really fabulous adults and they are very capable. And that when they share something with me, we're sharing it and it's a conversation and I don't need to own it. So I need to get rid of that. I need to just do something different with it. Because, you know, when you, as, you, as we get older, as we age, um, sometimes it's hard to carry some of these things and also from because we've had life experiences to really be quite honest with you I read a lot more into it than what things really are at lots of times because I go back to my own past and then I apply it to what they're telling me and that's not the case at all so going forward more self-love it's a conversation I don't need to own it so um, thank you Sandra Hart you guys you can check out her channel uh, for waking me up and making me aware of that. So that was really, um, actually at the very end, I'm gonna play a video for you that actually the last time I traveled was to the Netherlands where I was born. And I have a video of uh, me in my hometown and I'm taking a canal cruise. Okay, one thing that's kind of cool about this video, you guys, before I go, it was taken the last week in September, 2019. So the last week of summer, kind of like where we are right now. So you know what, enjoy what we have. Don't rush, slow down, take a deep breath. 
Yeah, and let's just stay positive about everything. I really slipped the last two weeks. I did meditate. I did everything I tell you guys I do to stay positive, but we all fall off the wagon every now and then, but I'm back. Thanks for being here. Enjoy. See you guys later. Bye. We're just sitting, waiting for our boat to come in. At four o'clock, we're gonna do a, a little city tour uh, from the canal. So we're just enjoying the sun and uh, drinking some water and hanging out. It's pretty cool. You're not going to get to Holland. You can't take that holiday. You've always dreamed of taking that canal cruise and all you've ever seen is pictures on Google. Well, I have news for you. Get a coffee, glass of wine, have a beer. You're coming with me. We're going to do this together. I'm so excited to share. I've got no music. I'm just going to let you listen to the sounds of the city as we go along. And what was really cool on Google, they had so many still pictures of everything you're going to see on this cruise. So you guys sit down. After this, you can say, yes. I've done that canal cruise. I did it in Leiden. In fact, Lydia and I did it together. Enjoy. These boats are a hundred years old. If they're not a hundred or more, they're not allowed to be here.
this ship coming up is an old, old one. sale. This is where people park right along the canal. You want to make sure that you have all your wits about you because I'll tell you, it's a little bit close to the edge for comfort for me. And most of the vehicles are manual, so you just better be good. Apparently they have gone in the canal once or twice.
part.